spring break here at Six Flags Great Adventure. Uh, why is it so cold? Hey everybody, it's Paul with the 125 Roller Coaster Challenge. Today's challenge is trying not to get frostbite when I'm riding roller coasters today. It is spring break, but really only in name only. It is freezing here today. It's uh, highs about 50, so. But why did I come back to Six Flags Great Adventure uh, so soon after I was here already? Well, I'm here for two reasons. First of all, our coaster count is currently at 17, which is pretty good here, but if I can get another three, like right there's Joker going, uh, that would be great to get 20 uh, so early in the year uh, on our quest to 125. The other reason why I'm here too is, um, you know, we've already done the Explorers and we've done a couple other things here at Great Adventure, but I really want to expand on what we've done at this park. So today my goal is to actually do the Let's Eat, the Let's Play, and the merch. Now that's a little ambitious uh, for one day here, so I'm hoping that because it's chilly here at spring break uh, and the park's open on a Friday, that's why I'm here, uh, that I'll be able to get what I need to film here. So. Fingers crossed that we're able to knock out all three of those uh, videos, but I already checked in with guest services, let them know I'm here, and now I'm gonna head over and get my flash passes because uh, if I'm looking to get those coasters, it's always great just to uh, jump on the ride real fast and then be done. So uh, that's what we're here for today, and hopefully everything works out great. Alright, I can honestly say the flash pass system is so much easier than it used to be here with the uh, scanning the code and just adding in your info. So, uh, kudos on that. They really got that flashback system. We used to have to wait in line all day and deal with all those kind of headaches. So, But now I come to the uh, point of the day where I actually have to make a decision. So, uh, give me a little bit of uh, behind the scenes on uh, how I film things when I go to the amusement park, which you know, some of you guys might find interesting, some might not. So my goal today, like I mentioned earlier, is the let's eat, the let's play, and the merch. Now there's two ways you can do this. You could actually go do your all the intros, all the outros, all the uh, mid-levels, and the whole nine yards. So that is one way to do it. So that way when you go to a section, like right here, we're over by the Joker, I can knock out all the stuff and not have to come back to the area. Now the problem with that is if you do not get everything done, you now have three halfway completed videos. And uh, that happened to me last year, actually at this park, where I was doing a Let's Eat and uh, trying to do two other things with it. I think it was a Let's Eat and I think it was uh, the first ever Art Park Day. And we never got to some of the sections. And because of that, I ended up having to pretty much dump the Let's Eat stuff. So this year, my thought is I might just pick one and then go knock out that entire video, then start another one. Now, the negative with this is I'm gonna have about 50,000 steps on my watch because you're literally gonna be backtracking the entire day. So I kept going back and forth, back and forth the entire time in the car, and my gut is telling me that we are gonna actually go with one at a time. So I'm gonna start with the let's eat, uh, just to uh, get that done because we weren't able to do that. And that seems to be the most popular one out of the let's play the merch and the let's eat. It seems like the let's eat is what people really like. So hopefully I didn't bore you too much there giving you our the thought process of when I do these videos. But uh, I, you know, some people think that stuff's interesting and stuff. And uh, throughout the day, I'm also gonna be jumping on the, uh, the Joker and stuff. But so I'm gonna kick back and, oh, right there's Harley going too. So I'm getting ready to kick off the let's eat uh, and hopefully we can get that video uh, completed. So I'm just kicking off the videos and I actually wandered all the way back here. I was surprised it was open. This whole section wasn't open when we first came here. But uh, you can actually get to Best of the West, which of course I wanted to show off because to me that is the uh, best uh, food area here. But the safari is open again. Uh, if you're not familiar, for the last few years you had to drive through like you did in the past, in the 70s and 80s. Right there is one of these safari trucks. 
Uh, but now you, uh, you have to get in the trucks and you have to go through here. And uh, right now they're uh, redoing stuff with the log flume. I was actually able to get back there and uh, show some of the construction there. This whole section's that were taken out, but. Um, so I actually decided to change it up a little bit here. I'm probably not going to do Let's Play today, but um, you know, right here is the Safari Food. And of course, the reason why I came all the way back here originally is right there is Best of the West, which is by far the best food. Uh, but you still can't, the mine train's down, and uh, so is the log flume, which makes sense, this is early April. But um, the mine train's getting refurbed in some ways, which uh, hopefully they fix it because it's been around since 1974, like the sign says, but it was definitely not one of the better uh, rides here at this park, but it's an iconic area, so. But um, now I'm gonna head over, so I'm at the farthest part of the park now. Uh, you gotta love Six Flags there, blaring the music, right? So hopefully you don't get a copyright strike. But um, as we come down here, we're at the farthest part of the park, so I'm actually gonna work my way back and uh, stop at every store, stop at every place I can to um, you know, get as much uh, content as I can. So like I said, my goal today is to actually uh, film a lot and then ride about three coasters. Um, already over there's Medusa, but I already have Medusa. So greetings from the Wild Safari. And that's where you enter and stuff like that. And uh, we're gonna keep on continuing, so enjoy the montage. <laughs> So we are all the way back here in the Gotham section. Uh, pretty much right there is Wonder Woman, uh, Lasso of Truth. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't got a chance to really ride much because uh, I've been filming a lot. I cannot believe, I know there's a lot of places because this is such a huge park, but I didn't realize by trying to do the uh, Let's Eat and the merch at the same time, um, how much uh, time it's gonna take there. I've been basically pretty much about three or four hours since uh, I started this adventure, and uh, I'm back in this end of the park, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm on the other far end, but I still got a little bit more to go uh, before I even think about riding. And, uh, you know, it's cold mountains down and stuff like that, so some of the uh, ones I definitely wanted to hit today uh, don't seem to be going, but I figured since I walked all the way down here, I still have to talk about the showcase and, uh, you know, the superhero store and stuff like that. But uh, might as well uh, walk all the way out here by Cyborg and uh, see what's happened. There's actually been a few things that have changed already since the last time I was at this park about 10 days ago or maybe 12 days ago. So I'd be curious to see uh, how the construction's going at this point, uh, considering that, you know, it's been a little bit of time. So right there, still pretty nice uh, Hall of Justice. I've always been impressed by that. So let's come uh, over here by the wall and give you guys an update as of April 5th on uh, how everything's going. So you look over there, not much there. There's a couple of things over here, so let me see what's going on. The Battle of uh, Metropolis might give us a little bit of a heads up. Now the one part of the uh, park I still have yet to visit and check out uh, would walk me right by the construction, so. Yeah, this is gonna give you a little bit more uh, views of the construction, so that's a win. So let me go a little bit high, so you can see uh, how the construction's going. So, it's a process, people, so it's gonna take some time, but uh, it looks like things are still moving forward pretty well, and I'm gonna still try to get on three rides today, but I still have a little bit more filming I need to do, so I uh, can't wait to get to uh, Let's Eat and also uh, merchandise uh, in the next couple uh, weeks so you guys can see the uh, fruits of the labor. All right, so we're about halfway done for the day because we're about halfway done with the park. It's been a lot of walking and a lot of stuff to work on today. Um, over here as we did the uh, Let's Eat and the Merch. That's what I decided on, Let's Eat and Merch. And I'm doing them both at the same time, but they're actually a Superman uh, Ultimate Flight so they did open this stuff up here. That was a pretzel loop. That's a crazy loop there. But it still looks like Green Lantern's down. And of course, that is closed down anyway. So 
I'm out here just checking out, uh, see what they expanded out here. It is neat to see that Superman is open when a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, it was closed. So, uh, But we're about halfway done with this video, so if you like what we do, definitely make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Simple click for you means a lot to us. By liking it, it definitely lets the algorithm know that this is a decent uh, video. And of course, uh, we are hitting 60 parks this year and 125 different roller coasters. We're at Actually, technically right now we're at 17 coasters and seven parks. So we got a long way to go. So definitely make sure you hit that like and subscribe and uh, kick back and relax as we go through the second half of our day here at Six Flags Great Adventure. Wonder Woman, so you know what part of the park I'm at, right? Right across by Axis, uh, Axis Chemical and stuff, but uh, we just got done uh, clearing out that section. Uh, I actually ran into somebody who knew us, so that's always exciting when people recognize the voice, because uh, I try not to get too many pictures of myself. Uh, I definitely have a good voice for this, apparently. So um, I'm walking back through here. I got one more section to hit, but some of the rides I wanted to hit aren't there, so I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that I'm going to be able to uh, uh, get the 20 by today. Uh, it is cold. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is cold and not looking forward to the wind chill uh, But one of the rides that I probably would have jumped on is right here the dark night now I know Skull Mountain is closed um, Not permanent. It's basically they're just doing a couple uh, uh, a couple things here So even though I'm not a big fan of the dark night, this might actually be the coaster I do because uh, it is a mouse in a box um, but I do have one more section there and I always want to make sure that um, I get all my work done before I play. But we cleared out this area. So the last part I need to do is that center area uh, between Skull Mountain and the front. Uh, just wanna make sure I get all the food stands and there's a couple little stores and stuff like that. And then the main gate. I didn't actually hit the stores in the main gate. So uh, probably about another half hour, 40 minutes of work. But once I'm done with that, I'm gonna see if I can get on a couple coasters. Right, so it's been a full day. We actually just finished the Let's Eat and the um, the merch video here for Six Flags Great Adventure. But it's 4.30 and I think the park's only open till 6. So I'm walking down uh, the dream, uh, dream path or whatever they're calling this. And uh, heading out to, uh, somebody told me that the Best of the West is actually open for food. Uh, which I am blown away by because uh, I'm starving. And that is by far my favorite place to eat. So I'm hoping uh, to find out for sure that it's open. And if it is, I'm definitely going to eat then. And then I might just stay till close and uh, maybe get on one or two coasters. Uh, it definitely took a lot longer to do Let's Eat and um, the uh, merch video just because there's so many places. It's such a big park. Uh, kind of makes me nervous for when I hit Magic Mountain this year. Am I actually going to have uh, enough time to do all the filming I'm going to do at Magic Mountain and Knott's Berry? Uh, so, but the day got a lot prettier here. It started out really cr cr uh, cr cloudy and just wasn't a really pretty place, but uh, the day got a lot better. Uh, but I would like to get on at least three coasters. And uh, the one I'm looking for right now is uh, I'm going to go check out Best of the West. And uh, of course, if that uh, is open, I'm going to grab food. If not, Toro's right there. Now, I've already ridden Toro, it's the second coaster of the year, but it's hard not to want to jump on Toro. So, uh, but I'm going to head out that way and uh, see what we got. Uh, I know Kingdom Ka's going, but uh, the line's probably going to be too big. And yeah, I do have the front of the line passes, but uh, all in all, I don't like wasting those on Toro. Because uh, I definitely have to come back this year to uh, film once uh, Flash gets going. So, But uh, I'll check in later and let you know if I ride any coasters and, of course, uh, end the day.
right, so we are finishing up our day here at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. Uh, it was a good day. It was a cold day. Uh, definitely chillier than I wanted. And uh, ride-wise, I only really got on El Toro because even with the flash pass, uh, it was one train operations and it was, um, not gonna lie to you, it was kind of slow operations today. So uh didn't really knock my socks off. And uh, even though Superman, which is down in this area that I'm at right now, uh, was going and also you had uh, King to Ka going, uh, the lines on those were just going to be too crazy with the flash pass. Kind of reminds me of my first day here when we went on Jersey Devil and it was one train operations. Yeah, the ride was going, but it wasn't really uh, going to the capacity that I needed to go. Uh, and even with the flash pass, it wasn't really working. So at this point, you know, I got on Toro. Toro's great. Uh, running a little bit better. Uh, probably more warmed up than it was before, even though it is colder, uh, ironically. But uh, all in all, pretty good day. Uh, we knocked out Let's Eat and we knocked out Merch. So next time I come here, the only thing I really have to do is this section right here, Let's Play, uh, which I don't want to do today because um, I'm going to do a lot of filming. So and I do have to come back here because of Flash. So uh, because I do have to come back here and uh, do a brand new Explore, a uh, brand new uh, Unplugged, I figure uh, I might as well knock out a Let's Play and a Showtime. So we do have some uh, stuff to look forward to uh, later on this summer, but it was nice to knock out Let's Eat and to knock out merch. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing those soon. Uh, we always uh, release the Explorers and the Our Park Days first. So you're gonna see this before we have the other ones out. So with that being said, make sure you like the video. Uh, so that helps us out, spreads us out, uh, gets us um, you know, more viewers. But of course, then you wanna subscribe because if you really wanna see what we did today with the uh, merch and the uh, Let's Eat, the easiest way to do that is to uh, basically subscribe. Uh, it's a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. And by subscribing to the channel, it's going to let you know uh, when we uh, upload the uh, Great Adventure things. And also remember, we're hitting 60 parks this year. So by uh, subscribing, you're going to get to visit a lot of parks just like I am uh, through uh, TV. Now, of course, if you are uh, checking this out right, real quick, look above. There is a video. Click that video if you want some more Six Flags Great Adventure stuff. And remember to subscribe so you can watch this ride all the way to 125.